Yes, my name is Ingo Walterscheid and I'm responsible for the development of Design City in Kolding. And I'm very glad to hear that there are so many that know about about, about uh, Kolding. I had not expected that. Um, to help a little bit on that, we have a map. And um, the German, German Danish border is uh, right here, Schleswig Holstein underneath here, and Kolding is right here. So um, from here you go two hours to uh, two hours fifty uh, to um, to Hamburg, to Copenhagen, and the north of Jutland. So we are really in the middle of of everything related to the traffic. You know a little bit of, about Denmark, so. Just a, a, a few uh, impressions about that. The, the, the mermaid, uh, Hans Christian Andersen, the, the poet, everybody knows his tales. Um, at the uh, clean technology, we have uh, the largest producer of wind turbines. So, um, a little bit about that. Then, uh, most important of all is uh, that we have a, a very good education system. And not all about uh, in Europe are, are aware about that. That uh, we start in the kindergarten already to work in groups, and that continues in the um, primary school and and uh, until you go in in university, and uh, that helps a lot to to improve innovations, and that's a little bit about what I will t tell you about today. So. Um, why is a uh, place uh, of uh, Design City calling? Uh, what 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 could we uh, do in this place? Uh, the place in in Kolding is uh, is important because uh, we would like to to show the uh, the world what is uh, going to happen. So I will show you a little bit about uh, what what the challenges are in 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 the world, and we what what we are facing. So, yes. So, what? How we, would we like to start the future? The future is uh, is not very broad always. Uh, so we can see there's a lot of of pollution on the earth. So how can we deal with that? We will be uh, nine billion uh, people in in uh, 2050. We expect. So uh, how can we do with that? How can we feed uh, our future? So uh, to solve the problems uh, in all, we have uh, developed a, a, a concept for Design City, and Design City is a part of uh, of Kolding, and, and a new city uh, where we uh, try to put in some some efforts of uh, of the new technology and green building and stuff like that. So um, it's up to us to let uh, let us do it together. So. Um, the vision of uh, creating a uh, design city is, uh, of course, based on what I've uh, shown you here, where we have pollution and we have an uh, unsecure future with um, maybe lack of energy and many people coming through the earth. So, so that's what, what we have as, as basic to, to uh, deal with. So therefore, the, the thought is to, to, um, to do a... a a city where we can develop new products and services. So I will show you the realization of that. Um, do green building concepts and uh, use uh, principles of, of um, even the um, the cradle to cradle concept uh, of uh, Professor Weinga Weinberg. Uh, we had uh, told you a uh, brown guard perm. Uh, uh, the morning, and we have also the uh, principles of, of design thinking uh, from from the Hasso Plattner Institute, where which we are cooperating with, and um, those principles we, we put into Design City and develop uh, all this uh, to to make uh, new products and services. We have made a, a kind of of a concept here where we have a, a lot of. Uh, uh, headlines. And th those headlines, we also call them microclusters, uh, will attract companies, uh, maybe three to five companies in each bubble, uh, to establish them in Design City. 
So if you look at all these uh, bubbles, we have uh, a footprint of, of uh, everything which uh, is uh, important in, in our future life. So we will de um, develop all this on a multidisciplinary uh, way, um, on cross of, of all these bubbles. So um, not in the bubbles, but on cross of it. So here's a, a little overview of, of, of the area. There's uh, an, a land uh, near the um, Baltic Sea on the Colding Fjord, and it, it has uh, 22 hectares of, of land. And on this, we are building about 100,000 square meters of, of buildings. And this is a mix of building for residentials and offices, labs, and things like that. We have uh, built already the, f the first building. And uh, the first building we will move in ourselves, also together with other, among others, uh, to to create this uh, this vision. Here's a little mug up of of the um, of the main place uh, in Design City, and uh, the, the building over here in the background is, is the first building we have uh, built now, and the next uh, parcels will come through in uh, the next two years. Um, we are working strongly together with, with the local um, universities in, in, uh, in Kolding, the SAR, the, the South Danish University, um, the Design School of Kolding. There are two uh, schools, design schools in Denmark, the one in Kolding and the other in Copenhagen. Then we have uh, the International Business College with about 3,000 students and all. Uh, together among uh, foreign uh, universities will contribute uh, to this uh, kind of, of uh, campus feeling, uh, working together with, with the industry, with companies, institutions, and uh, the ed education system. So I'll just uh, take out uh, two, two of them. Uh, here's an example of... of um, the uh, Hasso Platner Institute, and uh, they have uh, formed uh, this um, strategy of, of uh, uh, design thinking process, and um, they are based in, in Potsdam here near Berlin, and as well in, in st at the Stanford University in California. And uh, the, the next place where we will form a, a design thinking, a school of design thinking will be in, in Kolding. Um, to work together with the Nordic, Nordic uh, universities. Another, uh, the other um, principle we, we put in is, is the uh, cradle-to-cradle -cradle principle um, to form this uh, biological and, and uh, also the technical cycle. And we think this uh, we will put into to the building area as well and, and of course also let the, the companies work uh, together um, with those two, two principles. So, um, what is the key to success with the cluster module? I've been, been into that already, um, so I'll just... Uh, we have uh, to create a, a, a fellowship uh, with, with all parties uh, who wants to join uh, Design City. Here, uh, a little uh, graphic about uh, how, we, how we do things. Uh, it's not intended that we put uh, all the, the microclusters into specific parcels here. Uh, that was the first building. So we just say you can, you can uh, be invited in which uh, building you would like. We will build it for you. So, um, so there will be an, an interaction uh, between the um, different clusters, the, the different themes and the companies uh, among them. So, and the, um, the different clusters are, are based on themes what we uh, put money and, and uh, effort into and invite companies and, and do projects with them to start up uh, this, uh, this uh, design city concept. So, and, and the um, basic uh, Themes are, are themes where, where we invite, for instance, a, ma a material library, 
and uh, then also schools and so on. So, so uh, these uh, functionalities of, of the companies will, will provide services to, to the seams. So, um, yeah, I think um, I've done it in, in half of, of, of a time, see, uh, about. So uh, we catch up a little bit of time. And um, I hope that, um, that you have got a, a little impression of, of uh, Design City. We have in the, uh, at the elevator, we have also our big module, uh, one uh, times uh, four meter. Uh, and um, if you have some questions, I'll be up there as well to, to discuss and, and of course uh, if you have some ideas or would like to join us in Design City we will hopefully uh, have a talk about that. Thank you. <laughs>